Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to add downforce to the vehicle because if we hit play we can see that this uh, model of ours loses traction in, in speed. See if we, yeah, you get the idea. So we're going to add downforce to it so it sticks better to the road. We're going to make a new method. We're going to call it add downforce. And we're gonna declare a value to change the downforce. Downforce value. Default this to 50. And let's build it. So the way we're gonna add the downforce is by applying force from the top. The way we do that is by saying rigid body dot add force. This allows us to add the force, whatever force we want. So now we're going to add minus, okay, inside the brackets, minus transform dot up. times the value we have our uh, okay <coughs> minus trans transform up times the value we want which we defaulted in 50 and this is for extra we're gonna add the magnitude the core magnitude rigid body dot velocity dot magnitude so this is gonna apply downforce let's test it we have a default value of 50 And now let's try it. We can immediately tell the difference. It sticks better to the road. Okay, you get the idea. So this is a way to add the downforce to a object. Next, we're gonna we're gonna do. Next thing we're going to do is uh, declare a center of mass. So we, do we don't have to use this collider for that. Let's create an empty object and let's, say, let's call it mass. This is going to be the center of our car's mass. So let's, let's position this. the mass into the center right here this is gonna be our mass the way we're gonna do our mass is by going to the controller and declaring a new transform or game object let's do game object for now center of mass into the get objects we're gonna get the center of mass by saying center of mass is equal to game object with capital dot find the name which we made mass and this should find the center of mass we made it public and let's try it yeah it finds the mass so now let's make this private and let's actually do stuff with it so to actually declare a center of mass, we have to say rigid body dot center of mass is equal to center of mass. Yeah, center of mass dot transform dot position. Okay, so if we hit play,
it doesn't work. As you can see, it doesn't work because this mass is in a world axis, or how do you do you say it? it's not in local in this referring to this object. So a very very easy fix is just saying local position. Save and try. Okay, so now we have a center of mass. Okay, yeah, you get the idea. It works. So usually you want the center of gravity or the center of mass to be as low as possible. So we're going to set it like right here. Now this should never never flip this card should never flip or uh, roll over it should only only drift beautiful let's really quickly add a way to use the handbrake since we made it in the input manager the handbrake but we never used it so into the move vehicle we're gonna do another if statement if I am dot handbrake then we, it means we're using the handbrake now, if we use the handbrake, we want a. Well, let's let's not use a for loop. Let's make it by hand. We want the rear wheels. So wheel in the index of three. And the wheel. Actually, wheel in the index of three. Dot brake, torque, is equal to wheel in the index of 4 dot brake torque is equal to brake power we don't have a brake power let's make a public float brake power and let's test it brake power let's set it to really high that's maybe too high Now this should lock the rear wheels. Okay. We have made a error. Index was out of balance. Okay. I think I know wh where the error is. Instead of saying 4 in here, we're going to say 2. Okay. Yeah. It locked the rear wheels. Okay, now we can't even move because these are defaulted to 9 million or 9,000, whatever. So if we're not using the handbrake, we want these wheels to not have any brake power. And now they lock and they unlock okay perfect in the next episode we are gonna do so they lose traction when they when they get locked because right now they're just being dragged we want the car to to go all over the place and we forgot collision right there <laughs>